Okay, so I'm a bit late to the party with this, and maybe you already know that you can get a free legendary Lunar Revel Egg as part of the Lunar Event. I thought I'd make a semi-quick video showing you some tips and tricks on how to get it. I'm going to warn you now though, it is a little bit of a grind and involves a few games of TFT. The good thing is, is that you can complete a few missions in one game. There are five mission stages overall, and the missions themselves aren't too hard, but you do have to complete all of the missions in a phase before you can unlock the next phase. You'll see how you're progressing with each of the missions in each phase when you go into the Lunar Gala tab on the right hand side. I've already done a video on how to complete the first phase which rewards you with a 4 U emote. I'll link it at the end of this video but essentially you just need to play a game using the underground traits and complete a few heists and claim the loot. Now I do have to stress this applies to all of these missions is that you need to wait for a whole game of TFT to finish for your mission progress to appear. So for example if you end up coming fifth obviously leave the game early and you'll see in your match history that the game isn't there. This is because people are still playing and when the overall game ends you'll see that your mission progress is now there. It is pretty frustrating as there is a bit of a lag and can be a little bit confusing but it is important to know and I've heard of some people redoing missions which is a complete waste of time. While you wait just jump into another game and start your mission and by the time that game finishes you'll see all the progress come through. Now the second phase is super simple and self-explanatory. Play a game of TFT Monsters Attack. So I'm assuming this can be any of the games modes. So on to the third phase and as you can see this gets a little bit grindy. So you'll see here that the next mission phase doesn't actually automatically unlock so you actually have to go in and click this above Annie's head, just skip it through and you'll see that the next missions then come up. Please make sure that you do this and make sure that the missions are in your tab and on the screen before going into a game. I highly recommend playing fortune favors to complete your missions as you do get quite a bit of extra loot and the first carousel has either four or five cost champions which will really help you later on in the game. Though the article shown on the screen says that this mode is available until the 9th of Feb, while I've been editing this video there's actually been an update saying the game mode is extended until the 13th of February which is awesome because it'll give you a little bit of extra time to play. Now if I quickly talk through each of these missions, the first one is to field hacker for 11 rounds. So LeBlanc, Zoe and Zed carry the hacker traits so make it a priority to get them on your board ASAP. The good thing is with TFT every few rounds you get to select an augment. Sometimes you'll get the hacker hero augment or sometimes you can get a crest which counts as having another hacker on the board. Now this isn't just for hacker, this can actually happen with most of the traits and most of the heroes. Now the next one is to star up Galio or Siva five times. Again speaks for itself so keep an eye out for the champions and the hero augments. Next one collects 60 loot orbs so 100% this is why I was saying to do this in the fortune favors mode as the golden bun bun drops these quite often throughout the game and to progress even faster I would feel the underground trait which rewards you with items throughout the heists. Now the next one is field a two star Janna or a unit equipped with Zephyr. So Janna is a legendary champ so it can be quite hard to get until a little bit later on. So I'd go for the Zephyr item which is made up from the giant's belt and Negatron cloak which is pretty easy to obtain through the orbs or from anybody in the carousels. Field Alistair and four mascot traits at one time. So the mascot champions are shown on the screen. Now just a quick note I use the Poroffessor app that I just have up on the left and all you need to do is type in the trait or a champion and it shows you everything that you need to know. So the next one is win three games. Now to win in TFT that classifies as placing between first and fourth. If you do play double up you need to get either first or second. Now in my opinion this is probably the hardest of the tasks because you have to win three games and that's a little bit harder than it seems. You really rely on having a really good comp and sometimes you get knocked out pretty quickly. Okay so now onto the fourth phase. So build 40 complete items. Now again make sure you do this in fortune favors again coupled with the underground traits. Now to build a completed item you just need to combine two components like so. So the next one is field a mecha prime set. So again keep an eye out for him on the first carousel as he often appears in the first round. So it wasn't clear if it was just have him on the board or have him on the board with the mecha prime trait active. So I did this just to be safe. To have mecha prime active on the board you need to have three champs which are shown on the screen. Once this trait is active all you need to do is pop this item on top of set and away you go. So the next one is to field super three and one three star unit. So the supers are shown on the screen. Now the good thing is is that there are only three and they are easy to obtain throughout the game. So just pick any other one cost champ and keep collecting that until you reach three stars. The next is to win 30 PVP combat rounds. Again not all in one game. Uh, it did take me just a couple of games. It's really good when you get on a quick good win streak. So the next one is acquire 150 total fame with anima squad. So the 
Anima Squad champs are shown on the screen, again use the Porofessor app. I always make sure to try and grab Miss Fortune, who is quite often on the first carousel as well. I also keep an eye out for the extra emblem through the augments. So again, the hero augments are all the crest. So you can actually build the Anima Squad emblem by combining the spatula and the needlessly large rod. And to check your fame points and how you're tracking, just hover over Anima Squad on the top left and it'll tell you. I can usually get to 100 in a game with max anima, but this should only take you a couple of games max. So the next one is maintain a four plus win streak for 40 total rounds. Now this is probably one of the grindier missions of them all. Um, again, really easy early game, or if you have a strong comp, but if you don't, it can take multiple games to get this. Okay, so now after all of that grind, the very last thing is to play a game of fortune's favor. Again, wait for the game to show in your match history. You'll then receive your little legend egg. It does feel like a little bit of effort, but as I said, if you do really want the egg, I was able to complete the mission within a few fortune favor games. There may be other tips and tricks that I'm missing, so if you do know of any, please share them below to help people with the grind. Thanks for watching. Bye everyone.